Hello, food enthusiasts and curious minds. Welcome back to our channel, where we delve into the fascinating world of food and culinary secrets. Today, we're delving deeper into an intriguing ingredient that has sparked both amazement and curiosity over the centuries, castoreum. Hell, the beaver carries a substance that is used, among other things, as a scent and flavoring. Castorium, and that delightful taste is derived from a gland near its anus. Castorium is used to this day in the perfume industry, as well as for flavorings. Castorium is simply a flavoring ingredient. It imparts a Swedish effect. You might encounter this Swedish effect in your food. However, it's questionable how often that happens. It cannot be deduced from the label. According to industry insiders, it's not chosen to be used very often. Castorium is used very sporadically in the aroma industry. And when it is used, it's usually in vanilla flavors. First, let's delve into the life of the beaver. The beaver is a large rodent known for its architectural prowess and inhabits watery areas. Beavers primarily inhabit areas with freshwater streams such as rivers, streams, lakes, and marshes. They prefer forests in temperate and boreal regions. Beavers are known for their construction activity, building dams and digging lodges. Dams serve to accumulate water and provide access to food, while lodges are used for shelter and are usually located near water bodies. Beavers are mainly herbivores, and their diet consists mainly of bark, branches, leaves, roots, and aquatic plants. They are known for their rodent behavior, felling trees to obtain food and materials for their dams and lodges. Beavers are mainly nocturnal and spend the day in their lodges. But let's get to the main point. How clean are beavers? They are relatively clean animals and spend time grooming their fur. They have special oil glands near their tail that produce an oily substance with which they coat their fur. This helps make their fur waterproof. The beaver ingests castorium by consuming willow bark. Castorium is obtained from the castor sacs, glandular pouches located between the anus and the external genitals of beavers. The castor sacs contain a yellowish fatty substance that is extracted for various purposes. Castorium contains a complex mix of different chemical compounds, including castorium oil, a fatty substance that is a significant component of castorium. Castorium absolute, a concentrated extract from the castor sacs. Various chemicals, these include substances like esters, alcohols, and acids that contribute to the unique smell and taste of castorium. The specific composition can vary depending on the beaver's diet and other factors. Castorium has been used as a flavoring and aroma compound in the food industry, especially in vanilla, raspberry, and strawberry flavors. It has a musky, vanilla-like scent and is believed to enhance the flavor of certain foods. Castorium is used in perfumery to create certain scents, often as a fixative or to add a musky or leathery note to perfumes. Castorium is also used in medication. In traditional medicine, castorium was used for its purported analgesic, anti-inflammatory, and antipyretic properties. However, modern medicine no longer employs castorium for therapeutic purposes. And not to forget, this substance is also incorporated into cigarettes. The use of castorium in food and cosmetics is regulated by legislative authorities. Overall, it is considered safe for consumption in small quantities, but it must comply with applicable regulations and standards. Beavers are not specifically bred for the production of castorium. Castorium is obtained from the castor sacs of wild beavers. Beavers produce castorium as a secretion to mark their territory and for mating purposes. The extraction of castorium typically occurs as a byproduct of hunting beavers for other purposes, such as wildlife management or fur trapping. The harvesting of castorium is done with respect for the animals and under the supervision of regulatory authorities to ensure that it is done ethically and sustainably. And that brings us to the end of this revealing journey through the world of castorium. We hope you've enjoyed this in depth. Look at a remarkable ingredient that has enchanted our taste buds for centuries. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, 
share, and subscribe for more engaging content. Have questions, comments, or suggestions for future videos? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and until next time.